Assalamu alaikum viewers Welcome to my channel you know what study If you are new on my channel Please subscribe and press the bell icon So you will get the notification of all the new videos When we conduct the experiment And then do the RNA seq analysis Then the question comes in our mind That how many genes were upregulated In our treated sample 1 Or we have generated If we have generated the overexpressed lines and how many genes were upregulated in treated sample 2 are the lines we have generated through RNAi or knockdown lines. To keep the answer of these questions in one view or in one figure, we construct the wind diagram. Wind diagram tells us that how many genes were overexpressed or how many genes were uh, downregulated or how many genes were overexpressed in uh, overexpressed lines or how many genes were overexpressed in RNA lines. For example, I have overexpressed and knocked down my gene and generated the line. Then I have done the RNA seq analysis of my two samples that is, sample 1 which is the overexpressed line and the sample 2 which was the knocked down line. I have made the, the lines and then and do done this RNA seq analysis. Now I want to know that how many genes and what type of genes were upregulated in both sample like the overspell lines and in the null down lines. That which one and how many genes were upregulated. While the also for down regulated genes in both sample. You can also use these techniques in treated sample if you are going to give the uh, heavy metal stress or some other stress to your uh, uh, samples and then you, you have done the, the different lines and then and do the RNA seq analysis and then you, you want to know that which genes were upregulated in uh, treated sample 1 and which were they upregulated in treated sample 2. You can also do the same strategy. So how to do this? Let's start. So this is my RNA seq data. This is the RNA seq data. These are the list of genes, all genes, and these are the log two of fold change that the which is uh, compared with the uh, control or the overexpressed gene. I have uh, this is the RNA seq data of my overexpressed line. So first, I want to know that which genes or how many genes were upregulated, and this data we will get from this log to 4 k with the positive value is tells us about the um, upregulated genes while the negative values were tells us about the downregulated genes so these are the negative so these are the downregulated genes but we need the upregulated gene first so we scroll down it and here from from this From this positive value, so our these genes were so this from this gene, so these were gene were upregulated uh, in our O uh, or express line. So we will take these genes. So select up to this one. So these were our. Um, upregulated gene in over line so copy it and make a that is a upregulated gene and paste it so these these are all the our upregulated genes in over lines now we this is my data of RNAi line so I will find the upregulated genes in RNAi line so also the positive value, the log 2 positive value is our uh, upregulated genes. So these were started from here. So we can select these all genes, shift and then scroll down. So these selected genes were our upregulated in RADI 
line so copy that and then here in sheet of regulated in RNAi so now we will try to find the down regulated genes in our over express line so these from here the value will come in minus log to four change so these were our down regulated genes so we will copy these down regulated genes from over spread lines and keep it in separate sheet so up to this gene these were our down regulated genes in over spread lines so copy these and in separate sheet down regulated genes in over spread lines so these were so we also take the down regulated genes in RNAi lines so these were selected from here so we will select these down regulated genes in RNAi right, so these were up to this gene so copy and paste it into the sheet that we have named it down regulated genes in RNAi so now we have four categories that over expressed or up regulated genes in over spread lines up regulated genes in RNAi lines down regulated genes in over expressed lines and down regulated genes in RNAi so how we can show them in I mean diagram so let's start so open the google or any search engine and write it vini v e w n y so you can open this so it will lead to you in this uh, window so here in a first uh, we write the up regulated in over express lines here we write uh, up regulated in RNAi lines or knockdown lines and here is the down regulated genes in uh, over express lines and here we can write uh, down regulated genes in RNAi line now we paste these genes in respective column so first we copy all the genes that were over uh, up regulated in over stressed lines so copy and paste it then we copy over expressed or up regulated genes in uh, RNA lines select copy and up regulated in RNA lines paste and uh, then we have to down regulated genes in over expressed lines copy and uh, paste down regulated genes in uh, RNAi lines or dark down lines all select all copy and paste so this in, in this way we can make our this is our event diagram so here you can change its uh, style solid while or here is a color so it gives it beautiful colors or white or in percentage whatever you want transparent or uh, this color which you like and here you can also thicker thin these lines this is font size and uh, any you can make these changes so here so now this shows that about uh, 2.1 percent genes are uh, 804 genes were upregulated in over space lines while uh, 442 genes were two genes were upregulated in RNAi lines while these 1,375 genes were upregulated in both lines 
either RNAi lines and OSPAR lines. When and here these genes were down regulated in overexpress lines where these genes were down regulated in RNAi lines while these both genes were down regulated in both overexpress and RNAi lines. So this type of wind diagram it shows if you want to see that which genes these are so when you click on this so these were the up regulated genes in overexpress like this is their uh, name so you can copy these all for your information that the 404 line genes were up regulated in your overexpress lines which these are so you further you can do their analysis and paste here So, which are the uh, upregulated in uh, RNAi lines or uh, downregulated lines? So, you can click it, and then here these are the list. You can copy and then paste it for your information. For saving of this scene, this diagram, so right click on it, save image as, and then wind diagram, and save it and use it in your paper or any manuscript or any other so this also tells about number of genes and the percentage so, sorry so in this way you can make the wind diagram and test your up regulated or down regulated genes in your different treatments as are your different lines so hopefully this video helps you if you have any question please tell me i will try to sort it out please comment share and like thank you